G'day, welcome back. It's Cyber MacGyver impromptu video. The tip of my soldering iron no longer holds solder. As I just tried to put a bit of solder on there, it balls off and just drops. Does not hold any solder anymore. And that the reason for that is it's my fault. I've been using my soldering iron to uh, modify this waterproof case for a uh, sports cam. I think it's acrylic plastic. So I've been melting through the acrylic plastic just to get a good shape in it. Now that's not done yet, but I've noticed I've also killed the tip of the soldering iron. I'll just zoom in and give you a look. So normally that tip there is nice and shiny and it should hold the solder as soon as I come up to it. It should heat up the solder and turn silver and shiny, but because I've been burning plastic and I've been wiping it down with a with a dirty cloth, I've taken all the shine off that tip. Now I'm going to show you guys how to clean that up. Baker's soldering fluid, that's what we call it in Australia. It's actually zinc chloride. Uh, not sure how strong it is, but if you get a bit of zinc chloride in a different form, I'm sure it'll do the same job. So all I do is pour some in a lid like so now I'm being extremely careful because it is acid and I'm assuming it's corrosive not very good for the health when it heats up and turns into fumes so I've got a little portable fan here I'm going to turn that on so excuse the uh, the buzzing in the background now let's try this Soldering iron's on, it's hot, it's up to temperature, and as you can see, it doesn't want to hold any solder at all. So I'll just quickly wipe off any residue, give that a clean. Now I'm going to dip it in the tinning solution. I could start seeing that it's actually cleaning the tip pretty quick. Let's zoom in a bit more, give you a closer look at that. So I'm going to bathe the tip of that soldering iron in the fluid, give it a quick wipe, get the residue off, do it again. Now, as I do that, hit it with the solder. Oh, and that's starting to work brilliant brilliant look at that excellent that's that's the result I'm after that has now reconditioned my soldering tip now uh, there's a bit more residue burning off that so I'm going to continue to tip in there or dip the tip and as I do that I apply more solder beautiful You'll notice the fumes are getting blown away. They want to breathe that stuff in. Can't be good for you. Just throw the excess off. So I'm going to do this a couple of times. And just keep re-tinning the tip of the soldering iron. Now in Australia we call it soldering with an L. My American friends call it soldering. We all know what I mean when I say solder. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Get rid of the excess. Now I'm just using standard solder. Cheap, run-of-the-mill stuff. The better quality, the better it is. I prefer to use synthetic solder these days. No lead, just tin. And whatever the substitute for lead is. Alright, here we go. This will be my final run, my final pass. That is looking promising. So what I'll do now is I'll just switch off the power point. And this soldering iron will start cooling down pretty quick. So I've just dripped off the excess. So there we have it. This thing's about to cool down. Now I like to live leave a lot of solder on my soldering iron tip when it cools down just as a protective measure against corrosion 
and to stop it from getting dirty again. Now, in this case, I forced it to get dirty. I'm just scraping some of the excess black gunk off there. And that is good enough for me. I'll now carefully put that down. It is switched off. I'll let that cool down. Now the rest of this acid solution I'll tip out, get rid of. I'll cap up the bottle, pack up, and we're done. Easy, simple. Now, the old school method is get some sandpaper and scrape the tip. The problem with that is it takes away all this tinning that's accumulated over the years. It's the barrier between the iron tip and your workpiece. So you constantly want a nice silver tin on there, which is basically just your soldering substance sticking to the tip. And that's what we've managed to do. So that is how I clean my soldering iron tips. No sandpaper, no scrubbing, and by the looks of it, no damage. I'm happy with that. Hope that was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, be good, be kind, be careful. MacGyver out.